Hello, my name is Kate Moskva and I'm the CEO of the Sala Festival. Welcome to the official opening of the 2020 South Australian Living Artists Festival. We're coming to you live from the Art Gallery of South Australia and are excited to be launching the 23rd festival. Some of you may be watching from home or from the office or at a safe and socially distanced venue in South Australia. Or perhaps you're watching from overseas or interstate. Wherever you are, we welcome you and we're happy that you could join us. To commence official proceedings, I'd like to introduce Isaac Hannam to welcome us to country. Please welcome Isaac. Namari, Nainari Isaac Kutnwich Hannam, Naitangi Wilta Kana Naranjari Mio, Marto Changa Kana Mirna, Naiwankanti Mari Naputni, Nadla Kuyarta Hana, Mari Nadlu Tampanti, Nadlu. So it's good to be here today. I'd like to thank you all for inviting me here today to do the Welcome to Country. Uh, my name is Isaac Hannam. I'm a proud Ghana and Naninjuri man. Um, before I welcome you all on the country, I'd also like to just acknowledge my elders and my ancestors um, because they've guided me and they've empowered me. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here today doing what I'm doing, speaking language and, and continuing culture. So I'd like to acknowledge them today as well as your ancestors and your elders and I'd also like it um, to be um, acknowledged, I'd like to invite them here today, all your ancestors um, from wherever they come from, I'd like to invite them to be with us today as well as my own. I think it's really important to acknowledge them as well. Um, you know, like I said before, if it wasn't for them we wouldn't be here today, we wouldn't know the things we know, so it's always good to acknowledge them and thank them for what they've um, done for us. Um, as part of that welcome, uh, I've pretty much just you know, welcomed you on the country, so it's good to welcome you on the Ghana country. Um, as well as that, I'd like to thank you um, as part of inviting me here today as well, because for a young Ghana man, a young Ghana and Nanjani man, it gives me an opportunity to practice language and, and ceremony, um, something that's thousands of years old for us, an ancient thing, and also gives me um, an opportunity to speak language back over country as well, so it's very important for me and um, for the Ghana people. So I'd like to thank you all for inviting me here today. Najalia, welcome to country. Thank you, Isaac, that was beautiful. I also want to acknowledge that we are on Ghana land and I pay my respects to Ghana elders past, present and future. Tonight marks the beginning of a month long celebration of the visual arts. And what a year it's been. So we're so happy to be able to deliver the Sala Festival this year. I'd like to welcome the Honourable Stephen Marshall MP, Premier of South Australia, Councillors Anne Moran, Philip Martin, Robert Sims and Mary Kouros of the City of Adelaide, Sala Patron and Founder Paul Greenaway, Sala Chair Nicholas Linky, the Sala Board and all of the artists that are part of the festival. As well as launching the festival today, we are here to recognise the 2020 Sala feature artist Kirsten Quaylo whose beautiful ceramic work you see featured on the Sala poster. Kirsten is the recipient of the South Australian Living Artist publication written by Wendy Walker with emerging writer Raylene Forrester to be released during August. Kirsten's work is on display here in Gallery 6 of the Art Gallery of South Australia during Sala and her solo exhibition is opening at the Sam Stagg Museum of Art on October 16. During Sala, you can also hear more about Kirsten's work via the podcasts that both Sam Stagg and the Art Gallery have produced, and you'll find information about these in the Sala program. This afternoon, the Premier will be announcing the 2021 recipient. The annual publication is supported by the Department of Premier and Cabinet, and it's for the production of a major high-quality book profiling an established South Australian visual artist, and it's published by Wakefield Press. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Premier of South Australia, the Honourable Stephen Marshall. Well, thanks very much, Kate, and also thank you very much to Isaac for his welcome to country. I too would like to acknowledge that this afternoon we're meeting on the traditional lands of the Kaurna people and that we acknowledge their ongoing spiritual relationship with this precious land. It's always great when Sala starts. South Australian living artists and it's a wonderful celebration. It's always a very, very high profile event on our annual arts and culture calendar here in South Australia, now running for 23 years. But this year I think is 
very different from many other years. Uh, often we have hundreds and hundreds of people who are here at the beautiful Art Gallery of South Australia. Uh, tonight, not so, but many people who are uh, joining in uh, and also celebrating that we will still have a wonderful sala this year. More than 100 different uh, exhibitions right across our state, from in the outback, uh, up in the Flinders Ranges, right down to the southeast uh, on the Limestone Coast. So I'm looking forward to getting around to as many as I possibly can, and I know so many South Australians are going to be doing exactly that. Artists are absolutely 100% at the heart of the Sala uh, Festival. Uh, they always have been and they always certainly will be. And I know that they think that it is fantastic that this is going ahead this year under these extraordinary uh, conditions and situation that we find ourselves in with the COVID-19 pandemic. One of the things that I know uh, that Kate and her fabulous team have been doing uh, is working out how we can do more this year online uh, and with podcasts uh, and also with virtual tours. So I think this is an absolutely fantastic innovation and I think in some ways uh, many of us have had to learn uh, how we can adapt uh, with this uh, COVID-19 and sometimes there have been some slight silver linings to this otherwise dark cloud uh, of the pandemic where uh, we've been able to think about how we can reach new audiences in new uh, and different ways uh, using technology uh, and so I hope this is going to be something that we can use in future years as well to augment uh, what we're already doing, reach and continue to reach larger and larger audiences with the fabulous artists that we have here in South Australia. As Kate was saying, uh, we're all pretty excited about the book launch which will occur next month and Kirsten Quaylo is with us here tonight and you'll see in front of you this fabulous poster of her incredible work and I'm really looking forward to it and I'm also looking forward to going down to the Sam Stagg Gallery and seeing Erica uh, and also the fantastic exhibition which is called Ithaca. So um, I think that is really um, something that which will be absolutely fantastic but that's not what you're wanting to hear about tonight. You want to hear who is going to be the featured artist next year. Now, I've got to tell you the good news. It's one of you here tonight. <laughs> Not you listening in on, at home, but it's one of you here tonight. So I don't know if any of you are thinking that you've got the talent and skill to be represented, but one of you does. Uh, and one of you has been selected, and it is my absolute great pleasure to announce uh, that the 2021 South Australian Living Artist publication will be for our own fabulous sculptor in South Australia, Roy Ananda. And I've got to tell you, I really, I caught up with Roy. I was at three sort of prequel openings for Sala last night and I ran into Roy at one, at one and he said, oh, might see you tomorrow night. I'm thinking, I don't know what you're talking about. But, <laughs> so I was pretty excited. And I think he's pretty excited to be announced as the 2021 South Australian Living Artist Publication recipient. This publication will involve three authors, curator and writer Andrew Purvis, emerging arts writer Bernadette Clavens, and in an interesting break with tradition, uh, we have a speculative fiction writer and New York Times bestseller author, Sean Williams. So this sounds fantastic. So looking forward to reading all about it next year. Roy received a master's degree by research from the University of South Australia back in 2017. He's had an incredible exhibition history spanning almost two decades. Uh, he's shown work nationally. Uh, he's also shown work internationally. Um, and uh, his work is, of course, represented back in the 2018 uh, Adelaide Biennial here at the... Uh, uh, at the uh, sorry, the Adelaide Biennial of Australian Art Exhibition with his fabulous work, Divided Worlds. So uh, we're very much looking forward to seeing what happens uh, next year's publication, but it is my great pleasure uh, just to be here with you tonight uh, and to just encourage every single person here uh, and out in uh, the digital world uh, to get out, have a look, a look around Adelaide, experience the wonder and the breadth and the depth of our wonderful South Australian living artists. And if you can, purchase one of their works and support an artist, especially in this pretty tough year. Thank you very much. Thank you, Premier. It's wonderful that you've been able to join us here this afternoon. 
Now, it's been a challenging year for everyone, and in particular for those regions who've suffered the devastation of the bushfires earlier in the year, followed by the economic impact of travel restrictions. Regional communities are resilient, and art is an integral part of uniting isolated groups and telling our stories. So let's take a look at some of the regional participation in this year's Sala Festival. My name is Melinda Rankin, I'm the Director at Fabric out here at Lobethal. And Fabric is a developing arts and heritage hub in the beautiful heritage buildings of the former Onkapringa Woolen Mill. Well, we're really excited about our Sala exhibition this year. We have Jane Skier who will be showing uh, some of her work from her residency on Kangaroo Island. Hello, my name's Jane Skier. I'm an Adelaide emerging artist. I've just returned from a residency on Kangaroo Island. On day two of my residency, I went for a drive down Stokes Bay Road and uh, I started collecting xanthorea plants, the leaves of the xanthorea. And I thought when I get home back to the studio, I'd build some sort of sculptural um, work out of them. But when I got back there, I was so emotional after seeing the devastation of the fires that I just started smashing them with a hammer. And, uh, and, and to my surprise, smashing them, they started actually ac activating them like they were the fire. There was red, orange, yellow glows jumping out of it and like I'd set the thing alight. And as you can see behind me, this is one of the works that uh, I did over there. And, and so every day I'd go and get more. There was something about this whole process of the fire. It was, seemed to be I was lighting a fire in my work somehow. What struck me walking through the fires were these stumped heads, these, these busts of um, burnt stumps that were laying around everywhere. So I started playing with them and have, having them, setting them up like pawns in a ch chess piece. And, and there was something about them that I knew I just had to bring them back. They were just something that was a strong, like when I work, I work emotively and I try to capture the heart of a town. And to me, this is the heart of, this is screaming out, this, this sculpture saying, hey, look what's happened. You know, this is, this is Kangaroo Island. This is what's left. And, and then Melinda had seen my work on Instagram and rang me and said, how about you show this work at um, Lobethal at Fabric for Sala? We would love to invite people up to Lobethal during um, Sala. We're open all August for every Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 11am to 4pm. We'd love people to have a trip through the hills, support local hills businesses, There's lots here in Lobethal to come and see and in the surrounding district. And it's lovely to be inviting our community back in after the COVID restrictions to look at these symbols of hope and recovery. Welcome to Port Pirie Regional Gallery and Sala in the Mid-North. My name is Ursula Halpin, I'm the uh, Port Pirie Regional Art Gallery Director and the Cultural Arts Coordinator for Port Pirie Regional Council. I come to you today from the beautiful land of the Nakanu people, um, pay my respects to Elders past, present and future. Um, and I extend that respect to other Aboriginal groups who call this region home. It's been a real delight to partner with Sala this year and to support all of our local um, Sala artists. Part of my role here has been really encouraging people to get involved in the wonderful online process this year, making sure that as many as possible are taking advantage of the free, um, free registration. We have so many artists that we're showcasing here, including um, Annette Laurie Dodd, a Yukonjara Mourning Woman. She's our, one of our Sala Artists of the Month. Carolyn O'Neill, um, whose uh, studio tour you'll be able to see shortly, um, and a plethora of other artists that are in our um, Vivian Crisp Gallery, um, including our local Port Puri um, craft group, embroidery group, um, textiles group, painters, photographers, you name it, we've got it. So yeah, make sure you come up and see us in person. Um, the roads are really great up here now, so that new Northern Expressway is fabulous, thanks Steve. Um, and look, if you can't see us in person, um, there are so many virtual tours online, um, so many studio tours, um, online exhibitions. Um, here in our gallery, we'll actually do a we walk through, uh, film a walkthrough of the gallery space. I'll just do a quick flyby now. This is 
uh, Rob and Stacey Ray of Light, which is finishing up in a few days and will be in Roxby Downs by the time you see this. So yeah, we'll see you shortly. You'll be able to visit our new artist in residence studio, our workshop space, um, and all the wonderful artworks that we're showcasing in our retail outlet as well from our local artists. Hello from Kangaroo Island. Hi, I'm Flo Peters, the curator of KI, A Curious Time, which will be a virtual online exhibition and also here in Fine Art Kangaroo Island Gallery. We're going to have a number of various art forms in all stages of production in this exhibition and include some of our regular Sala exhibiting artists and some new ones too. Here are some of our artists from this year's show. Hello, I'm Fred Peters. I'm co-director of the gallery but I'm also a silversmith and uh, I've struggled since the bushfires to actually create much at all. And it's only really in the last few weeks that a few of the ideas that I've had have been able to come to fruition. So I've got a couple of pieces finished and one is a tribute to a tree that no longer stands on the island. The other pieces will be more a comment on the regeneration of the, the Australian bush, which I'm totally blown away with. So hopefully I'll have about a dozen pieces by the time the exhibition begins. I'm Kanita Williamson. I'm a textile artist. During the fires, I and after the fires, I was very busily making work that reflected my feeling of dislocation and vulnerability. Then when COVID came along, I decided it was time to be introspective and I started working using my daughter's stories, um, her recollections as a five-year-old. Um, she's now 37 and being diagnosed with high functioning autism and I'm basing a new series of work on my x-rays from going through cancer and her journey um, understanding Asperger's and that's what I'm going to be doing now for Sala. Hi, I'm Rich Roman. I'm a painter from Andrew Chamber Bay. I began painting for Sala scenes from parts of Kangaroo Island that I really loved, like uh, Hanson Bay, but all that beautiful vegetation is burnt now, and I felt, I guess like a lot of the artists in Andrew Bay, guilty that we had survived so easily all these terrible bushfires, and so I didn't want to paint places that just weren't there anymore. So I decided to paint something more about resilience and how brave people on Kangaroo Island have been. Hence the work about waves and the tide that just comes rolling in all the time and something that you can count on. Uh, so yes, it changed the way I was thinking. I'm Sarah Juarez and I'm lucky that Rock Farm Studios still exist. Uh, my focus of course was then on the bushfires during COVID and uh, my work has changed from um, more bright to slightly more gloomy, but certainly with respect to the environment that we live in. So we will hope you'll come and see us on Kangaroo Island this sala, or jump online for some regular streaming on Sunday afternoons as we showcase for you the journey of many of our artists' experience this year. We'd love to see you. Serena. I'm the curator at the Riddock Art Gallery in Mount Gambier, the largest regional art gallery in South Australia. This year for Sala, the Riddock Art Gallery has partnered with Walkway Gallery in Bordertown to present Telling Tales. This is a community art project led by two artists, Sarah Waters, who was born in Mount Gambier and now lives in Adelaide, and Joe Fife, who is a Mount Gambier based artist. In this project, we're doing a call out for anyone who has any connection to the limestone coast to tell their tale through stitches. So we're asking people to embroider their stories from this region, family histories, interesting stories, uh, weather events, any kind of interesting story that they have in their history and send them in to us. The artists will then combine all of these pieces to create one major artwork, which will be displayed in Border Town next year during Sala. 
Thank you to Channel 44 for producing these clips and for managing all of the filming and streaming today. I'd also like to thank Sala's extended family, including our publicist, Petrina Egan, bookkeeper, Phil Grudnoff, Anthony and Kelly O'Sullivan from Influx Creative, Mark Durard and the team at INEX. Thank you to our inaugural credit union essay, School Artists in Residence, to our Artist Advisory Group, our First Nations Advisory Group and the Sala Board. Thank you for your time and your collective wisdom. And a very special thank you to the irrepressible Sala team, Katja Fedek, Steph Fuller and Christina Joy Peak. These three wildly capable women constantly impress me with their energy and great care for what they do. And I thank them for their hard work and their constant cheer. The enduring power of art and art making can be witnessed in the Sala program this year. It has been heartening to see artists continue to make work in such challenging circumstances and to utilize the Sala platform to express themselves and bring communities back together. And it's important we recognise how significantly the arts sector has been affected this year. But despite this, artists have once again demonstrated their capacity to continue to create within adversity. I encourage you to explore the, Sala, the South, Australia, um, South Australia via the Sala program. Pick a region and support local SA businesses and independent artists. With registrations open until the end of the festival, exhibitions are being added all the time, so make sure that you revisit the program during August to find out what's new. I encourage you to download the app to browse the program and to use the map feature to find exhibitions near you. You can also search the program for online exhibitions so you're not limited to where you can get to physically. This year we're excited to introduce a new medium to promote the work of SA artists via our brand new Sala podcast. The first episode will drop this Monday and you can subscribe wherever you get your podcasts so you don't miss any episodes. This August, support artists and support the state via the Sala program by visiting exhibitions, by buying art and by sharing the South Australian artists that you love with your networks. Congratulations to all of the venues and to all of the artists, and happy Sala. Hey. <laughs>